G'day friends, it's Andrew here again from Nature's Image Photography and after taking a few weeks break from YouTube, now I want to tell you about my plans for this channel in 2022. And since I'm celebrating passing the 9,000 subscriber milestone, let me start with a sincere thank you to the many people who have followed me and continue to support my channel in the last year or so. For the many people who've been following me for my videos on the Lumix G9, I have to be honest and say I've made videos on just about every topic I can think of. I even made a couple of videos summarising pretty much every setting and function I use on the G9. I don't want to repeat myself and I don't want to make new videos just for the sake of adding content. So I'm asking for your help. If you have any burning Lumix G9 questions that you think I can help with, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to have a look at them and if I feel qualified to provide a solution it might just spark a new idea for a video. While you're at it, remember that I'm really a natural light photographer, so don't ask me about flash and studio work, and I'm much better with still photography than with video, and I'll only make a video for YouTube if it really falls into my area of expertise. Meanwhile, I want to share with you some thoughts on how I see the channel heading this year, and this started with a conversation I had recently with a workshop student. He said that when he started out teaching himself photography, he had no problem finding info online about basic camera technique, aperture, shutter speed, ISO and that sort of thing. But it was much harder to get good information about how a photographer tackles a photo from start to finish, choosing a location, picking a time of day, creating a good composition, things like that. And then what happens afterwards in the editing. Now, that lines up with a lot of the comments I get on my videos, where people tell me they have the same camera I'm using, that being the G9, and the same or similar lenses, and they use similar settings, but they're not happy with their results. And why is that? Well, I think the answer is fairly simple. It's not just about the gear, and it's not just about the settings. So this year I'll still be making videos about photos taken on the Panasonic Lumix G9. But rather than just telling you the aperture, shutter speed and ISO, I'm going to try to give you the full story of how a photo was taken. Everything from finding a spot, to lenses and exposure settings and why I chose them, to editing the finished photo. It's a whole new approach to making my videos, and please be patient with me because it might take me a little while to figure out how to do it right. And now once again I want to ask for your help. If you look back at the type of work I do and you'd like to know more about my approach to certain subjects, please let me know in the comments. I'm still going to keep taking the same sort of photos I always do, but your ideas might help me decide which ones to spend a little more time on to create some interesting videos for you. And now you know what I have planned for the year to come. Thanks for watching and I do look forward to seeing your comments. After almost a month's break I'm keen to get started on some new videos, so keep an eye out, I already have a couple of things in the works. If you're new to the channel and you like the sound of what I have planned for 2022, then be sure to subscribe before you go. I look forward to sending you some new stuff very soon. I'm Andrew Goodall, this is Nature's Image Photography.